A lab focused on tackling biological threats is launching in Manhattan. It is the National Bio Agro Defense Facility. Scientists will soon begin research, but first they are giving us a rare look inside the only lab of its kind in the U.S. 27 News Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung was one of a few allowed to tour the facility. She joins us from Manhattan. So Rebecca, what can we expect here in the coming months? Yeah, as you can see, I'm just outside the National Bio Agro Defense Facility here in Manhattan, and this is the only lab in the U.S. that will be using large animals to study life-threatening diseases and developing vaccines to fight them. I can't tell you how excited I am to have you guys here today. The National Bio Agro Defense Facility, a high security federal disease lab, is on its way to operating in full swing. The fact that we collectively have been able to pull this off successfully and be where we are today is quite amazing, actually. The $1.25 billion facility is a biosafety level four lab expected to have a team of about 400 people. Researchers will be studying the most dangerous animal borne diseases like foot and mouth disease and African swine fever. Officials say they're expecting the lab to be fully operational by late 2024. We truly understand that this is a unique facility, a national asset that wants to have the full potential if we maintain the activities within the facility. Containment in the facility is key, according to officials. The entire building is built with steel and concrete to keep diseases in and withstand an EF5 tornado. The facility also features pressurized labs and suits to avoid the risk of an outbreak. The public, and especially our community here, deserves to understand the safety and security measures we take. And we'll be back here in Manhattan tomorrow for the ribbon cutting ceremony. Several state officials will be taking the stage to give their take on the new facility. For now, reporting live in Manhattan, I'm Rebecca Chung. All right, Rebecca, thank you for that update.